Hey guys, Jacob here. In today's video, this is going to be something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about a topic that some of you guys have asked me for quite some time now, and that's going to be my overall opinion on year 34 at the Division 2. First, if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. I upload daily Division 2 content on like build videos, event resets, and overall news on the game. To get right into it, the first thing I'm going to be talking about is going to be, is there going to be a year 3? In my opinion, yes, the signs are all there. Obviously, for one, we're already in 2021, and it is January 10th. Uh, when you guys are watching this, um, or obviously if you're watching this in the future, or two weeks from now, then that's going to be a little bit different. But this is currently January 10th, and as far as we know, I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting Season 3. And like I said, for one, we're in 2021, and next is going to be some of the stuff that's already in the game. If you guys go all the way over to your collectibles, and go to comms, and go down, you will see the Langley files. I already made a video on this on once before, but these are nowhere to be found in the game. So this kind of points that we are going to be getting some kind of small DLC, uh, or a large one, which at this point, I'm not sure what they're going to do. But we will be getting something in this game that is either going to be to wrap up the DLCs, um, or just wrap up you know, either the end of Season 4, or this is going to be the start of the year three content and start pointing towards division three. Now, if you guys are not aware what the Langley files are, I did make a video on this, like I said before, and this is going to be leaked stuff that got published a while ago uh, about the new com collectibles in season four, but you still can't find them anywhere in here, which I'm not sure where they're at. Uh, but this is a post green poison situation. Uh, you guys can see here, if you want the uh, official stuff you guys can go to the video on my channel I think it's linked in the description down there below and you guys can read this for yourselves now also the Langley area uh, or the Langley CIA if I remember correctly is in Virginia so they could make some kind of game mode with this or something all different and to me how big this area is they could put a raid in here I mean they it wouldn't surprise me if they put a last minute raid uh, just to say screw it because I mean this area if you look at it I think this is the correct area, I could be wrong, but um, let me know in the comment section below. But I pulled up Langley CIA or CIA headquarters, and this is what it, the picture, or most of the pictures pointed to. And if this is the correct area, this is a pretty big area. And you guys can see down there, those are, those are cars. So this is a pretty big area. But overall, that's me about it for the Langley Files. And overall, yes, I think we will be getting year three in this game because it just seems very likely. Because for one, like I said, we're already in 2021. Uh, but the next thing is going to be PvP, which this is what most people or a lot of you guys here for. What are my opinions on PvP and what I think will happen? Now, I'm going to pull this picture up real quick. This is what a lot of people or some of my friends of mine uh, originally thought what New York was going to be and how they were going to change this. Originally, I thought there were going to be three DZs and they were going to be split and this is what it was going to be, but as you guys know, this did not happen. And if you go to the map currently in the game, and go all the way up to the New York City expansion, which I'll pull up right now, there are no DZs, as you guys know, there's none. Uh, but I feel like they could put a DZ in here if they really wanted to, and I feel like a lot of people want a new Dark Zone. And for one, you know, it's kind of getting boring being in the same DZ all the time. So maybe they'll give us two one or two small ones or just one DZ that's medium size. Uh, and be able to have 12 people in there or something. And that'll, that'll be that. But at least it'll be a new DZ to run around and, and you know, fight players in and stuff like that. But who really knows at this point? Uh, maybe they'll do it. I don't know. But another thing we'll talk about too is going to be some of the areas um, where they could do this. They could do this down in DC if they wanted to expand the map. Uh, but obviously if you guys look at the top of the map, they, you already have stuff up here unless they push this stuff up even further, you know, they could do that, but I find it more likely that they would put it in New York city. Now, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is going to be gear 3.0. Obviously we had gear 2.0 and that's where they changed a bunch of the brand set pieces and gear sets. Um, but this is going to be talking about year 3.0 for one. I feel like in year 3.0, we need to have new gear sets, obviously, new brain sets, obviously, and they need to rework some of the guns and gear talents in this game and maybe potentially some of the weapon talents. Now, the first one I'm going to be talking about is to be exotics in general. Now, I'm going to go over to my stash, and I feel like there's a decent amount of exotics that no one really uses in this game. And on this list right here, most people would probably use the Bullet King or maybe the Pestilence. And I rarely see people use the Mantis or the Diamondback. And I know there's people out there who do. Don't get me wrong. There's people who use these. Um, but when's the last time you saw someone using the Merciless? You know, or you know, or the Backfire. No one really uses these. So I feel like these should get a small rework. 
um, to be more, I guess, viable so people will pick them up and use them. Because 90% of the time when I play with people, they're like, oh, I got a backfire. And then just pick it up and throw it in their stash box and forget about it. Which kind of annoys me because I'm like, that's an exotic gun. You'd think they'd want to use it. And I guarantee you if this same thing was the house, every son of a bitch in this game would be picking it up and using it to their expense and be shooting everybody with it. But obviously this is not. But, um, you know, same goes for some of the other gear items. Uh, or, you know, exotic spool that some people don't use. Uh, the one I'm going to be talking about is going to be the Ravenous. I only see people use this in the Operation Dark Hours raid or Prepping Razor. I never see this thing anywhere else. In PvP, I see the Nemesis, the Scorpio, EB, you know, even the Chameleon now and then, uh, Capacitor, and of course, Lady Death. These are the only ones I really see. The top two I see in PvP the most currently is Lady Death and the Eagle Bear are the top ones that I've seen lately. I know you guys have probably seen different ones, but these are the ones I've seen lately that a lot of people use. And if I had to pick a third, it'd probably be a Scorpio because people are trying to run this with status-style builds. But I feel like some of the guns in this game, especially some of the exotics, deserve a rework, and they should change them a little bit. And one I'm going to discuss, which a lot of people are going to be mad about, which is going to be Lady Death. <laughs> and me, I don't really care much about this gun. I still kill people who have it, but it. the one thing that annoys me is the fact that Everyone uses this damn thing. I mean, everybody. I wish they would buff some of the other guns because this is all I see in the DZ is either people using um, the FAMAS and Lady Death, uh, the, what's it called? Um, I can't think of the name. They're using the Carbine 7 and Lady Death or they're using the P416 and Lady Death or some kind of other SMG. Now, I just wish that they would change some of these and make it where other guns are viable and just as powerful as this. And some people want this gun to be nerfed. I feel like that there's ways around that that they can make it still powerful but change it and tweak it uh some people want the amp damage to be reduced to like 30 percent in pvp and some people want it to where you have to have all reds to get the most out of this gun to get the amp damage uh because most people run around with all blues with this gun and maybe have a few reds and you know get the amp damage that way and just absolutely shred through you another one i'm going to talk about too briefly is going to be the eagle bear i really wish they would change the eagle bear and make it a little bit more powerful i know this gun is pretty powerful as is uh but i rarely see it you know in pvp sometimes there'll be a few days where i won't see it and then i'll see maybe one or two people using it but most people are using the famas or the carbide 7 or even the police m4 or this so i kind of feel like that the eagle bear has lost i guess people's interests and they don't really use it if anything i see the capacitor as well used a lot more than the eagle bear because the capacitor is way easier to get you don't have to do the raid and also also as well this thing has damage to armor and it has better attachments than the eagle bear uh obviously the scope is the same but this thing has 30 percent critical hit damage on the muzzle and some people don't even care about tenacity and some people don't really care about the capacitance either they'll just roll you know roll yellows and stuff on their build to get some damage and with their skills or they just won't run it at all and boom there you go and they get that, you know, get their damage up really high in this gun and just try to use it in PvP. Um, but top guns I really see, like, right now, that was Lady Death and Eagle Bear that I've seen the past few days. Uh, obviously, that could change. Um, but I wish they would tweak these guns a little bit and make them a little bit more powerful and viable. Same goes for all, you know, a lot of the exotics. I feel like they should change them and um, make them a little bit better for PvP and PvE. Now for talents. For one, um, this is Gunslinger and Versatile. This is just a mock-up build I threw together to show you guys, just to give a little bit of examples. I rarely see these talents, and I think these are, you know, two really fun talents or, uh, you know, using the game. You know, I think Gunslinger and Versatile work really well together, so you just swap your weapon and get some really good bonus damage. But most people in the game, you know, either run healers like this, they run all strict red damage, or they run some kind of uh, shield build, which is right here, and... Obviously, um, you know, they run status, which that's not status. That's a different build. Uh, for some reason, I used to have status on. I think that was supposed to be Eclipse, but I accidentally replaced it. So just ignore that. Uh, but most people run shield builds or they run the classic, um, you know, Intimidate, which is like this vest. And they run it with Adrenaline Rush, like you guys have right here, which is what most people use in the game. I just feel like they need to add a few more brand sets and gear sets to potentially... Um, make you know i guess make stuff more interesting because everybody uses the same shit you know which gets a little annoying to me so i wish they would add some more gear sets and brand sets to this game and also talents that are more team synergized you obviously have stuff like empathic and safeguard and you have you know protector and vanguard and there's there's a few of them that people use uh, but i feel like they should add more like that that help out your team a little bit more 
and also add a few more damage talents as well because uh, people use Obliterate, people use Intimidate, and they use Glass Cannon. So I feel like they should just add a good overhaul, uh, more uh, mods. And to me, it would have been more interesting if they would have added some of the uh, talents, like say the weapon talents from Division 1, and put them in this game as chess piece talents. Uh, you know, if you had Brutal, Deadly, Vicious, you know, a bunch of those destructive. Uh, if they put those on gear talents, you know, then we'd have a lot more in here, or even something like Responsive, which was just like flat damage. Uh, but it would be cool if they just added a good chunk of those in here and you know, changed it around a little bit and maybe potentially added even some of the Division 1 uh, gear sets. Obviously, we got Striker in this game, but, you know, who the hell uses Striker? <laughs> you know, most people, they want damage, they'll run DPS. I know some people run the 3-piece, but no one really ever runs the 4-piece. And I feel like they should, you know, change some of these gear sets and make them a little bit more viable. Same goes for some of the brand sets. And maybe change some of those as well. Um, good example would just be, I'm going to talk about real quick, it's going to be Fenris. I've never seen anybody use Reload Speed or Stability. I that as a damage style um, brand set, they should flip this. Because obviously Sombra has critical damage, explosive, and headshot. But those are still offensive style things you can use. For Fenris, you know, I guess it could be offensive if you're fighting if you're going to reload really fast or have really high stability. But most people never even touch the, you know, two piece and three piece. Uh, for Walker Harris, everybody uses the three-piece or even the two-piece. And for Sombra, um, or not Sombra, uh, uh, Sokolov, everyone uses the two-piece or three-piece as well. So I feel like they should do a rework on some of the uh, brain sets in general as well and kind of buff them a little bit or change them around. The final thing I'm going to be talking about on the list is going to be game modes. Now the first one, which I think we're going to be getting in year three, is going to be your situation. I feel like they're going to be adding in a small area or potentially even a medium and give us a new place to explore and maybe add in a new DZ and it then they'll add maybe two or three more seasons um, to keep the game express now if you guys go over to the seasons you know we have 11 weeks so if they could release more seasons uh, for year three they could extend this game even longer and keep players happy give us new exotics give us new brand sets and gear sets and weapons and keep the content flowing and if they have enough content you know that should hold players on this game until they make their next game and then everybody will be happy and they'll the real division three and then they'll release it probably a year later after they reveal it um but the next thing is going to be survival which i think this might be likely for division you know, two and most likely Division Three. I feel like this will happen in Division uh, But for Division Two, I feel like this could happen as well. I feel like they could add this in the DLC, or they could give us a whole new area and give us some type of PV mode because we do have skirmish, which is okay. But I wish they would add more modes in this game or game modes in general. You know, I really wish Resistance was in this as well, but it's not, and they never really added it. Uh, one more thing I'm going to be talking about as well is going to be the final topic, and that's going to be Division 3. Now, some people are asking me, when do I think Division 3 will be here? And I think Division 3 will be here, uh, not this year, and potentially not even next year. I think Division you know, 3 uh, could be revealed either this year, and then they'll release it a few years later. Or what might happen is they may not um, release anything this year about Division 3. And keep talking about year three, and then when 2022 hits, um, towards the end of the, the life cycle of this game, I feel like they will announce that Division Three is in the works. Then they'll reveal it and show you know maybe a trailer for it or show it at E3, and then a year later we will get the game. And obviously um, they are making another game, which is the Avatar game, which is a the James Cameron Avatar, and I'm not sure, but I think that got delayed. So. If that's the case, then uh, I could see Division content being pushed out a little bit more uh, because everybody knows there's a pandemic going on. So they might have pushed that game a little bit back and had some issues with it because I'm pretty sure if I was them, I'd want that game to be 100% and be right as possible uh, so I could get you know, as much hype on it and get as much people wanting to play it. Uh, but overall, that's a quick video on some of the things I think should be here in uh, Division you know, 2. And obviously, I will make a different video in Division 3 in the future once they reveal a few more things about it. Um, but overall, to give a pretty much summarization, I feel like that they need to add in some new Dark Zones, potentially a new game mode, uh, Gear 3.0, where they fix a lot of the things in this game. Um, and, you know, brain sets, gear sets, reworks them, some of the exotics, you know, buff them, make them more powerful. 
um, you know, also tweak some of them so they're not as powerful. Uh, but also, you know, one more thing, which I did say that was going to be the last thing I'm talking about. Because this, there are a lot of bugs in this game. And I do think they should fix them first before anything, um, like running in the walls and the DZ. So they should fix their game before they release any new content. But obviously, I know that's most likely not going to happen. So just letting you guys know, I am on that boat as well. There's a bunch of things that should be fixed, but there's, they're not. So um, I guess you just kind of have to accept it and see if they will fix it eventually. And if they don't, I guess that's how it is. To so this day, Division 1 still has bugs, and they never fixed them. Um, but we'll have to see what happens and what they release in year three and what the future of division two and division three is going to be But thanks all for watching make sure you subscribe for more division two content and I'll catch you guys all